Glasgow's form away from home this season has been nothing short of phenomenal with six wins out of six and they went into this game against Blues with five consecutive wins in the Pro 12 over the Welsh side. Tight head Ed Kalman was making his 100th appearance for Warriors. But the five Pro 12 wins over Cardiff didn't tell the full story as Blues had ended Glasgow's Heineken Cup hopes with back-to-back -back wins over the Scots last December. And Phil Davies welcomed some heavy hitters back into the side, such as Gethin Jenkins and Sam Warburton. Samoan international centre Isaiah Tuifua made his first league start, having twice come on as a sub. After an open few minutes of rugby, the first points came when Glasgow number five Tom Ryder was penalised for taking out the lifter at the line-out. Simon Humberstone kicked with accuracy to give the home side a 3-0 lead in the seventh minute. The Blues improved on that in the 34th minute when Ryder failed to put Macaulay Cook into touch and then Rory Jackson casually flicked the ball back into the path of Humberstone who found Rowan Copeland and he stormed over the line for the first try of the evening. The man from Wexford's third try of this campaign and when Humberstone kicks the conversion the Blues were into a 10-0 lead approaching the break. However, there was a sting in the tail just before the half-time whistle blew. With Warriors on the attack, Henry Pyrgos gave it to Lee Jones and the right-winger jinked his way over the line for a really brilliantly taken score. The ref, George Clancy, checked with the TMO to ensure that the grounding was good, but there was little doubt. And Glasgow finally had their first points on the board. Great work from Jones to evade a succession of tackles. Jackson converted with the last kick of the half to leave it Blues 10, Glasgow 7 at the midway point. The home side added to their lead in the 44th minute. And this score was all about the alertness and the opportunism of sub Lewis Jones, who was quick to see the ball squirt loose and then showed good footwork to dribble the ball over the line before dropping on it for Cardiff's second try of the game. The ref checked with the TMO again to get confirmation that yep. there had been no knock-on and that the grounding of the ball was good as well. When he got the thumbs up, a try was awarded and Homerstone converted from close range to give Blues a 17-7 lead. Sub Finn Russell on for Jackson reduced the deficit with two penalties. The second here in the 65th minute to bring it back to 17-13. A couple of minutes later, Gareth Davies landed a penalty to make it 20-13. Then 10 minutes from time, the pendulum swung back towards the Scots after an earlier break from James Eddy brought play into the Blues 22. The Warriors were putting the Cardiff men under severe pressure. Eventually, Eddy spotted the gap and forced his way over for the try. The great work from the six foot four flanker who wasn't going to be stopped from that range. Russell converted and it was 20 points apiece. Then two minutes from time, real drama. The Warriors won a scrum against the head in Cardiff territory and when they collected possession they worked a very good position in front of the posts and they recycled the ball. Richie Vernon passed it out wide to Bennett who gleefully cantered over the line for what would prove to be the match-winning try. The second week in a row that the centre has scored a winning try for his side. Glasgow's second half pressure paying off with Blues perhaps unsettled by so many substitutions. Russell added the extra two points and Warriors' amazing run of away victories continued. It's a win that keeps Glasgow right in the hunt with games in hand as they prepare to face Dragons next time. For Blues, that's just one win in seven, but they did receive the great news that Matthew Rees, who's been undergoing treatment for cancer, is fit to resume training. Maybe that puts everything into perspective for Blues supporters. Final score at the Arms Park, Cardiff Blues 20, Glasgow Warriors 27.